You know, it doesn't matter if it's your product or your business, are you putting the jelly on the bottom shelf so everybody can reach it? Hey, it's Don Skaggs again with Empowered Inventing TV, where we try to help you help other people by taking your great innovation, the right opportunity, mixing that with sound wisdom so you can turn them into real things like products and businesses. Now today I want to talk to you about seven different ways you can put the jelly on the bottom shelf so everyone can reach it. Now I've got some little illustration there. These are mason jars and I don't know if this is a southern United States thing or not, um, uh, but you know, making jams and jellies with, uh, in mason jars is, is kind of a thing here. Uh, and uh, you want some really good jams and jellies, uh, uh, you can get them in, uh, in Kentucky. We've got a lot of these things. So these, these are like mason jars. But uh, I want you to imagine your product or your business as a jar of jelly or jam. And the old saying goes, and it's an old saying, that if you put the jelly, put the jelly on the bottom shelf so everyone can reach it. And I've seen so many inventors and entrepreneurs out there that are so frustrated that it just, nobody seems, they, they'll say, Don, just nobody seems to understand my product. I don't, understand, I don't know why they don't understand this. I get it perfectly. And I've explained it over and over and I've explained it in grand detail and they just don't get it. Well, this is a sign of a serious problem. You are not connecting with your audience, your customers, which is the same thing, by the way. Uh, and, and this old saying is true. Sometimes you just have to put the jelly on the bottom shelf so everyone can reach it. Now, I want to talk to you about seven different ways that you can put your product or business on that bottom shelf so they can get it. Now, number one is don't talk over their heads especially and sometimes I, I think we do this we don't realize we're doing it a lot of people who are really smart and a lot of inventors and entrepreneurs out there you, you guys are smart you're very smart you're usually smarter than the average bear uh, if I can use another jelly uh, <laughs> um, uh, picnic kind of uh, reference here uh, but you, you, what you don't realize sometimes when you are really smart and you are smarter than a lot of other people is sometimes you're telling things to impress them. Sometimes you don't even realize you're doing it. But don't do that. Don't just talk over their heads to, oh, he's going to see how smart I am and he'll be impressed. No, 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 that's not the way you sell stuff. Uh, just because you think in those terms, and this is another thing, just because you think in those terms uh, doesn't mean it's they're going to be thinking in those terms and you're going to be going right over their head. They're going to get bored. They're going to walk away. They're going to either feel incensed. Well, he just, well, he just kind of belittled me and, and they'll, they'll leave. And you won't connect with them. Another thing is to keep it simple. There's, there, there's an old, old, another old saying, uh, it's called the KISS, K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid. I don't like to use the word stupid. Uh, uh, but just keep it simple. Don't, uh, if you're doing a, like a sell sheet, don't fill the page with abstract ideas and, and, and complicated reasoning. And, and, you know, and, and, and I've seen a lot of you out there, it, all you have to do is follow these 17 simple steps. No, there are no such things as 17 simple steps. They will not People are not going to do it that way. You have to keep it simple to where they'll get it and they'll walk away remembering it. You have to sometimes put, you know, newspapers, newspapers will write on an eighth grade level on purpose because they want as many people to read it. Now, newspapers are kind of a passe thing, but just anything online, online it's probably more like a fourth grade level now. But, but, but still, it, it, they don't make it overly um, complicated. They put it on a level that everyone can reach. Don't talk down to them, 
make it understandable to everyone. Another thing is to give it mass appeal. Uh, you know, just because you like it when you, when, you, uh, when you put it on doesn't mean somebody else is going to like it when they try it on. So you have to connect with an audience, and, and sometimes this is in product design even, of, oh, well, if I'm looking at this from my perspective, I'm going, it's going to be comfortable to me. So again, and this goes back to it's not all about you. If it was all about you, you're going to have one customer, it's going to be you, and you're going to walk away satisfied, and, everybody, and everybody's happy because everybody is one person, and that's you. No, you want, it's not about what you want, it's not about what you care about, it is what everyone else cares about. And so you have to give it mass appeal. Another thing, have a memorable wow moment. I mentioned this in another uh, video recently. Have a memorable wow moment that is going to make a point that these people are not going to forget. Now, don't have some big splash just for a splash by itself. Oh, look, I got your attention. Has nothing to do with the product or making a point about it or anything, but I got your attention. No, they'll just remember that. You know, there's a lot of Super Bowl commercials that was doing that where you'll remember the big funny thing about it, but you won't even remember what the product was. Yeah, that's, that's not connecting. You want a memorable point that everyone's going to say, oh yeah, that's right. That's because this product does this. Uh, back to the old Billy Mays, it has the power to do blah, blah, blah. And it's something ridiculous, but it's something that's connected to the product. So uh, 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 have something that, they're, that it's on purpose, it has something to do with the product, but it's going to be memorable, they're going to walk away remembering it. Lastly, tell the story, use emotion, use common ground, and make this thing relatable. Uh, you know, it's important to tell a relatable story that, that people are going to identify with. Uh, and and the, why did I use the jelly jars? Because I wanted to make a point. I want you to think about jelly on the bottom shelf. Everybody can reach it. And, and, and it's important that you do the same thing. Uh, you know, you have to, and sometimes, uh, you, you know, it has to be something they identify with because uh, uh, you ha it's, sometimes it just needs to be a relatable story. And this is why. It's important to be intimately, uh, have intimate knowledge of your customers. Live where they live. Get to know them very, very well. Don't have this abstract, well, these customers are over here, and yeah, I'm not really them, but I th I'm making some assumptions about, no, no, no. You go live where they live. You understand what really speaks to their hearts. And that, you key into that, you've got customers. So, uh, so anyway, if for more information, uh, there's a great Empowered Inventing Academy course called Sell Like QVC. Uh, you can sign up for it now, uh, and we'll let you know when it's ready. Uh, and it's, it's a course you can take. In, uh, but, you know, QVC does this very well, by the way, <laughs> very, uh, very well and relating. And they do it over airways. They do it on TV. They don't come into your home except through the TV. So, so uh, check that out, EmpoweredInventing.com. I'm Don Skaggs. This is Empowered Inventing TV. Like, subscribe, help us to build our tribe. And I will look to see you at the next meeting, workshop, maybe one of our online courses, or on the next video.